the pediatric spine, not only can it move much more than us, you take any little child from three to five to eight years old, they are so much more limber than us. It's amazing how limber we used to be that we can touch our toes and do the basic things that most adults don't do any longer. Well, if you have that kind of increased motion, the question says, could it be possible their spine can come out of alignment? Watching children is the ultimate way because what we do is we see children and they wake up jacked up with energy. Good news, good, bad, bad or good mood depending on their day, but beyond the emotional content of that child, they basically get out of bed and start running. They start jumping, they get excited, they have emotional breakdowns, they have excitement levels, they jump onto a couch. If they're small enough to hop over a crib, they love to hop over a crib. You watch a kid any given day, it's like it's an, it's an amazing situation of what they actually do. Then moms and dads currently, um, me being one of them, we send our children to a, uh, after school activities or um, side things that we're giving them. So they're taking gymnastics and baseball and gymboree's and swimming lessons and a whole gamut of things that are just overloading these little guys' nervous system. So in relationship to that, all I'd love to say is my recommendation would be how often do these children spines get checked. I truly believe that every child should have their nervous system checked by a doctor who's highly trained in chiropractic, who specializes in pediatric and pregnant women, to check a child's nervous system and spine once a week, once a month, depending on the activity level of the child. Anytime you have a child that has chemical, physical, and emotional stresses, which are a daily occurrence for any child, basically, unless they live in a bubble, as well as an adult, by the way. Um, all of these concepts, possibly, any of those chemical, physical, and emotional stresses can be um, impacting to the nervous system. And as the spine, these 24 beautiful bones that make up the actual spinal column, they act as circuit breakers. So when a child's area is overloaded and they jump off a couch and land on their legs and they said, ah, look, I did a great jump, did you see it? And I go, great, probably L5 just side slipped to the right. You know, but that's me as a chiropractor looking at these children. And then he may not have any symptoms. Or when mom is accidentally smoking too close to the child um, and that smell is getting on that child, that's causing an inoculation of a chemical into the system that would be a chemical that can actually trip a circuit breaker and one of their spinal bones might come out of alignment. It'd be no different than mom and dad screaming at the kid when they lose their temper. It's an emotional um, component that would work causing a psychosomatic response to the child's spine. Okay, so the simple concept again is check the child's spine before symptoms possibly arise, therefore increasing the potential to have a child who has the highest level of existence.